Dudes and dudettes of YouTube, and it's Frank with What's the Point EDC, and boy, do I have a freaking good one for you guys. My dog just took off right out the garage door. See you later, sayonara. So, check this out. You see the bag, so you already know it's new knife day, but it's not just new knife day. It is holy moly day. Let's get into it, guys. With the receipt here. This is Edgeworks, by the way. Hit them up. Brick and mortar store. They got an online shop. They got a telephone number. Hit them up. You guys see it. <laughs> I'm telling you stuff that you guys can already see. You see with that. Hold on. Look at that. One more time. Yes. Let's get into this thing, guys. It's the Vision FG. And the FG stands for field grade. The original Vision was a wee knife. And it was titanium and had the super lock. We're going to get into some more of that stuff as the video goes. I'm going to try to do my best to give you a little bit of description on, on a bit of everything while being as quick as possible. Now, I do have a few things to do today, so it's going to be a kind of a quick one. Awesome. You guys know how I feel about stickers. Another Civivi sticker. Okay, let's put that to the side. What's this one? Okay, I got the Elementum over there, down there in the corner, by my Big J's, by my Addicted to Blades. Well, you got old Doomy over here checking me out. You know, check it freaking out, guys. Let's open this thing up. Look at that. Is it centered? You're damn right it is. Shout out to Edgeworks for letting me play with their knives for so long that I actually became comfortable with this. Yes. Yes, Nitro V Steel, Micarta Scales, Super Lock. Now, here's the thing with this one right here, guys. So, right here you go. Here's your Super Lock. This came down in the Vision R, in the Wii version. When you pulled this, this one you can't pull it out. And um, the reason for that is because it's meant to be a little bit more of a field grade. To be a little bit more heavy duty so it doesn't pop out on you. So in the Vision R, it was designed so that you could clean the knife easily. Well, in this one, the difference, what makes the lock different, there is no difference in the lock other than one thing. Appreciate uh, my homeboy Talon at Edgeworks, who took multiple of these apart and showed it to me and explained it all to me. So right here's a pen. You see this pen? That pen, that stop right there is what stops this blade. I mean, what stops the lock from popping out. It's awesome. So you can remove that pen. You remove this pen and the lock does the same thing as the Vision R. So that's cool if that's your deal. Whoop, 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 whoop. I got to get used to uh, uh, Spidey flicking and middle finger flicking or whatever, but we'll get to that. We're three minutes in and I'm babbling, guys, but I am very excited about this knife. It's so good. Now, one thing I really like about it, check this out. See how the handle's canted? You can get the full blade here. You can rock that entire blade. So good, right? So good. Now, see, here's one thing I was worried about. So, as soon as I got the knife in hand, I, I waited like two, three hours for the UPS man to deliver. It was during a freaking tornado warning. And, uh, yeah, so I sat at Edgeworks and waited for the UPS guy to, to bring the box with all the freaking new CVV knives. But anyway, so, the pocket clip placement seems odd, right? I mean, they've really, so they couldn't have put it in the middle because it would have affected the blade. But I think it's okay there. What I was thinking was, is how's it going to feel in the meat of my hand? But I squeeze on it real hard and it really doesn't affect me. Now, I don't know how that's going to feel over time if I'm in the middle of hard using this thing for an hour. But, uh, oh man, you guys, it feels so good. The micarta. Oh, it's done well. Now, I have a thing for um for knives with see-through, pass-through holes in it. I just do. It looks awesome, right? That's why I like the Adamas and a few other knives a lot. What you have here is a reversible deep carry pocket clip, tip-up carry, you see? This is awesome, right? Now, you guys know how I feel about finger choils, right? Yeah, you can choke up, guys. Check the choke upage. And look thin slicey blade the vision r has a step up there's like two steps right here there's multiple grinds on the blade if you didn't know that i didn't know that until it was pointed out to me but this is essentially the exact same knife the only difference 
is the scale material, the pin and the lock. That's the only difference. Awesome. Now, some people, if you guys have the skill, will be able to take your finger right here and pull it and do a front flip, but that's not for me. I'm going to drop the knife, I'm going to break the tip, and I'm going to cut myself all at once. And I'll probably drop it on my toe, to be exact. So let's compare it to something real quick here. Here we go. We got the uh, CJRB Pyrite Warncliffe blade. So what is this? Is this a Warncliffe, a sheep's footy? What is that? They're both Warncliffe, right? So it's, 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 it's going to be a good carry knife. It's not overly big. It's not overly small. Man, Savivi really knocked this one out the park. Man, see my hands, my left hand, I'm not left-handed, guys, so it's a little it's a little rough for me. But I really need to thank Edgeworks for hooking me up with this knife. You know, they didn't necessarily hook me up with the knife knife itself, but they let me sit there and play with all of the different designs of this, including the Vision R, for multiple days so that I could figure out if I really wanted it. And I sat around in the shop walking around, just bloop, 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 just deploying it like you wouldn't even imagine. And I come to the conclusion that I believe that the hurting my finger thing was me just pushing a little bit too hard because I wasn't used to the lock. Now, from what I understand, the super lock is a pretty strong lock, which is awesome, you know. It's always good to have a nice locking system. I mean, why not spine whack test it real quick? I'm pretty sure it's going to pass. I just don't want to beat on it right now. Because there's a good chance that I'm going to sell this knife after I send it off and uh, let somebody check it out who is definitely in line for this knife. Old Doomy. Yes, he is. This will be going to him here very shortly. Man, this is so cool, guys. This is a slicey knife. Mm, mm, mm. It's done well. It's sold out everywhere. So check this out. What I will do is I'm going to put a link to Edgeworks as I usually do when I get a new knife from Edgeworks. I'm going to put a link to their website uh, in, uh, in the description of this video. They have this version, which is the dark green my car. They have black G10. They have white G10. They have uh, Damascus. Oh, my. Let me tell you guys about Civivi's new Damascus. Woo! So this is what I'll do. I did a short and, uh, just, and I uploaded it yesterday. Now, all my shorts are straight up trash right now because... I mean, as far as my views go, because I didn't upload for over a week. So it's like YouTube is pissed off at me. So I'm dealing with the repercussions of not posting for a week. And trust me, guys, it's detrimental. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to put a link to that in the description. So you can just click on it and you can see the different uh, the differences in, in the three. But there's more than three versions of this. But I just did the Wii version, which is the Vision R. Um, this titanium, I forget what steel is. I think it's 20 CV. I did this one right here with the dark green micarta and I did the white scales. Um, I forget what if that, if the blade is, um, stonewashed or what? I don't remember. Wow. It's just, this is awesome. You guys just check that micarta out. You guys know how I feel about good micarta. It's good micarta. Good blade geometry, good choil. The lock is very fidgetative. And if you don't know, that's a what's the point EDC ism. Fidgetative, and you better learn it. Because <laughs> you're going to hear it a lot here. But anyway, guys, I'm not going to hold you guys up forever. Thank God it's freaking Friday. Today is the 30th anniversary of Edgeworks Knife and Supply. And you guys know I'm really getting ready to go there right after this video and go hang out for a little bit, play some games, hopefully win something. They got some new stickers, and I'm really ready to get some of them stickers and hang out with good people who love knives and who are just like-minded people. I appreciate everybody who watches my videos. I really appreciate everybody who drops in on the lives. I'm going to continue to do them. They may be a 3 o'clock thing every day. They may be a 3 o'clock thing once a week. It may be a every day whenever I just decide to do it type thing. But expect some WTP lives. Me and Peterbilt Knife Guy, we're going to straighten it up. And um, we're going to start giving you guys some lives and all that good stuff. Uh, hopefully I can get on some lives with old Doomy, you know, homeboy over here, Beard of Doom, by the way. I speak of him a lot. I like to speak of good people, by the way. I'm sure you guys already know that. But let me stop my babbling 
and uh, just tell you guys how much I appreciate you. And I really appreciate you guys helping me out along this journey here, this EDC slash knife journey of mine that I'm on. So with that being said, if you're an addict, never quit quitting. Stay strong and live long. Get the help you truly deserve so you can live your best life. And if you're struggling with bad thoughts, reach out and talk to somebody. You got this. Never quit, quit, and never give up. It's all about sharp knives and good vibes. Take it easy and stay greasy. Peace out.